MD, vegan. <laughs> I make an ice cream today. And it's almost, it's always a little bit more refined these days. I, I make amazing ice creams, uh, mango ice cream or the hit. And uh, this one is a lemon flavor ice cream, banana based, so it's a blitz ice. And I have to make some tricks here, so it's a little bit refined. You see, these <laughs> will be my, my bananas, and it's empty because they are still in the freezer. And that's because if I put them out right here, right now, in this container, and be I begin to do the preparations, the date mousse, I'll show you in a moment. By that time, when the date mousse is ready, these frozen banana pieces will be a little bit thawed. And I put the date mousse into the thaw, almost a little bit thawed banana uh, and process it and it will be too runny to be a nice ice cream to, to make balls, to form balls, ice balls. I want these ice balls. So to do that, I have to take the ice, the, the banana ice, um, the bananas, the frozen banana pieces, out of the freezer in the last moment. They cannot sit here for five minutes or so, it would be too much. So I begin now to make the date mousse because the lemon ice cream put the lemon juice into the bananas, the frozen bananas, and process, it's delicious, but it has to be a little bit sweetened, I found. I tried that just with the lemon uh, juice, and it was a little bit too sour. Yeah, <laughs> It should be like lemon flavor, but it has to be a little bit sweetened. The bananas only with the lemon juice is a little bit too sour, so I make the date mousse. And here I have 30 dates. These are small dates, your know, medium dates, small medium dates, you know. So um, I take 30 because I make a little bit extra mousse, but less than 30, maybe 10 or 15, that wouldn't fit with the blender. The blender is large and I have to use a little bit more than I need, otherwise it wouldn't blend so nicely. So first I put the 30 dates in there, a little bit of water, just a small amount, not too much. Yeah. Uh, maybe I have to add a, little, add a little bit more. I'll see that in a moment. Blender dance to make my date mousse. You hear the sounds get higher and higher, that means a little bit too little water. Because otherwise, or I have, would have to take a little bit more dates. Yeah? But I don't want to have to use that many dates. That is too much. Because if you put the date mousse in the refrigerator, you have to use it pretty, pretty much pretty soon, otherwise it turns sour. Date mousse is not very, uh, not very dur durable. So put a little bit more water to get it creamier in the splendor one more time. It's still pretty high pitch and sound. That means um, you, you could also take some more dates, as I said, then you have some more date mousse. But I think I want to have it one more time, one more time. So a little bit more, just a little bit. Yeah, it's no problem. If you use an oven to cook something, you have also you have completely different kinds of technical tricks you have to use. How much fire, flame, how much fire, how much heat, you know. With a blender, you don't need heat from the oven, it's a raw food. Uh, but you have to do also some tricks. You have to put a little bit of water in the beginning, then to add a little bit more. If you begin with too much water, 
um, you have it too runny and so on. So these are different kinds of tricks, different kinds of experience you need to do this raw food with a blender. But it's also nice, very nice to, to do the blender here. See, this is the bread mousse I want to have. I leave it in here right then, right, right in here. And now I get out my I get out my I get my, my bananas out of the freezer. I come back in a second. So I got a, <clears throat> a big bowl. These are maybe three cups of banana, frozen banana slices here, fresh from the freezer. You see, very cold. And that's what it has to be because um, usually when I make a banana ice cream, only with frozen fruit, I can let them sit for a while, five minutes or so, and the count doesn't matter. But you put something liquid in there, and uh, it's like this, um, the date mousse, that is already a little bit warm even, it takes really nothing to melt the ice cream down when you process it. So, just the frozen bananas were in this processor. It would even take some time to get them into ice cream. Yeah? But with the lemon juice here, you have one lemon juiced. Maybe you can take a little bit more, a little bit less. It's okay. Lemon and banana is a perfect combination. With the lemon juice and with the date mousse, it will also be pretty quick. Uh, it will be pretty quick. So I take, let's say, I show you what I take, how much I take. Not too much, just maybe a third cup or so, I would say, I would reckon. Maybe from 10 dates or so. Maybe 10 minutes to 15 dates. Yeah. I hope not too much. I try the first time now. I'll let you know in a moment. I have to be fast now because the runny stuff will make the ice cream very fast. So let's see. works and it looks nice but I want to see the texture yeah it's ball ball kind and it's yummy <laughs> I show it look, looks delicious it is delicious and it's very nice the texture is perfect it's nice and creamy I have to eat it now not later yeah you can also use a little bit more juice, that is okay, a little bit more lemon juice will be enough, will be fine. It's not too sour now. It's very nice. See, that's what it looks like. The perfect ice balls here to eat right away. Don't need to freeze it again. And that's the thing with, with Blitz Ice. It's so easy and enjoyable. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video and subscribe. And if you on YouTube, have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.